Greetings, I'm Z. I also go by Mickey. I'm here to review a web application pro program called Liquid Planner. So Liquid Planner is project management, task management, time management all rolled into one. And so that's a game changer in itself, but by time management I mean literally you can click on a timer for a task, start the timer, have it go, get out of Liquid Planner, get into whatever you need to get into so that you're actually getting done with your project and then click stop on your timer. You can also enter things in really quickly into a timesheet. And that's important because it's constantly updating your reverse calendar based on the work that you're putting in and whether you listed something as done or not. So for two reasons do I feel that Liquid Planner deserves a review. So first of all, it's the most realistic reverse calendaring system or application you're ever going to see. And secondly, it turns out that it's also a very fluid, intuitive, fun, flowy, simple, streamlined, easy to get into and out of work environment. So I'm here at the My Work page. I just wanted to quickly show you so that you understand how Liquid Planner thinks and works. Um, how the, the start and finish and estimates kind of work. Alright, so here are my list of tasks. And I've only showed a few. I've got like 52 total for my entire research project. But you can list here how much you want to see. I want to see the ones from 7 days before today and up to 14 days after very important to list your availability for the work hours you can put in for the week. Easy to do. Go to my settings and just list the hours that you have available each day. That's critically important to do because when you do that, that's how the planner gives you a very realistic reverse calendar. So this task is going to take me two hours to four hours to complete. I only have four hours available on this, this particular start date. Um, so if it ends up, you know, taking me four or five hours or what have you, then the next task will be scheduled on the next day. Um, so that's where these estimated start dates and estimated finish dates come from. So you have very realistic, best case, worst case scenario, uh, time estimating, and it's giving you this realistic calendar. If you need to do some overrides or put some hard deadlines in, you can. Very quickly, I got set up really fast. So the videos are, there's only a few and they're pretty streamlined, really clear, high quality videos that help you figure out how to get set up real fast. So I watched those videos for about an hour, like going back and forth between watching them and playing around. That took an hour. And then I spent another 1.5 hours, I think, putting in all my tasks here. And it auto-generated this Gantt chart for me so that I end up with this reverse calendar that's very realistic. So if we take a peek, uh, conducting and writing up the realist synthesis, expected start is March 14th, expected finish is a 50% probability is April 2nd. So let's just take a quick look here. So if I'm here, for instance, at this task, I've entered in best case to worst case scenario for how long it will take me to do this task. Based on that, the Good Planner has created this Gantt chart here. And I've configured how I want my Gantt chart to look by configuring the columns. You can add and delete whatever you want. And so with the task, you can just quickly get going with the timer, you can get going with the timer here. Let's look at this little window here for the timer. So the task puts you at the top. You can add all kinds of comments, your thoughts about what's going on, keep track of what you're thinking. One neat thing you can do with that is to say, you know, uh, when I start tomorrow, start by doing blah, 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 you know, so and so and so and so. You can post that there. And so that's a way to keep momentum going. 
that's something that I learned about um, at a forum for researchers. Um, notes. This is great because what you can do here is report like your DA's advice to you, for example. DA meaning dear advisor, your advisor's advice to you. Link it all here so you can keep track of you know what he or she is telling you about your project. So the document section. There's not a document, but let's go look at a task that does have a document link to it. So this is rather neat. So it says in Satavi, place quotes and notes on outline elements. Alright, so Satavi is a program that I use. A lot of researchers use it. It's a very particular project with a very particular file type and file suffix. So here I have, remember we can scroll here pretty easily, one document. Alright, so if you link it as a box document and it takes five minutes to get a free box account and upload your documents there. If you link it, then this is just astonishing. Astonishing. Alright, so here's my box account. And so poor box, it, it's like, what have you given me? It's doing its darndest to deal with this file type, this CTV3. But I don't have to download it. I can just do one version of it. If I decide to edit it, then what box is going to do is, dun, 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 oh my goodness, launch the op application. It's, the topic wasn't open, but it's opening it for me. And so it's opening the project, and boom, there's the file, and boom, oh, let me grab it. So I can start working here. So as I was saying, it's very fluid. That all happened from within Liquid Planner. Just because I clicked on the document, Box launched it for me, and I could do some work and edits and all of that. And Box is going to sync to the file that's on my computer and upload. So that was a file that Box didn't recognize. Let's look at a file type that it does recognize. Alright, so let's scroll down here and find a path. Alright, here we are. I have to create critical synopses, uh, Word documents for each research report that I'm doing. Alright, so one document associated with this task right now. Scroll down to it. It's box linked, so if, when I click here, it's not going to download it. So I want a billion different copies of it. I just want one, and I can version if I want to. But, um, all right, so here we are. So, Fox Recognized happens to know what a Word file is, so here we are with the preview. Now, notice the word change here. Um, I'm going to edit it. Click on Edit from here, and guess what Fox is going to do? Dun, dun, dun. Box is launching the application for me. It's going to open up Word. Word wasn't open, but now it is. So here we are. So this is this document it has the word change in it. I'm going to make a change here. And Box is going to deal with that. I'm going to come here and save it. Box is going to do some work. So let's see what that's like. Okay, file saved to box, and we should get an upload and a change. All right, there we go. Generating preview. Take a little bit. All right, and there we go. It's updated it. That edit has populated. So it's just one version of the file that we're dealing with and I was able to get to it, preview it, edit it, launch the application, all from within here. As I was saying, I really, really think it's a game changer. Um, that accurate, dynamic, constantly updating reverse calendar. Here's my home page where I can see how many hours I've put in. I'm new to the planner, so I haven't recorded too much in here. When I need to learn how to do something professional, high quality, limited number, uh, limited in number, and pretty short videos that just help me learn how to do things. If I really want to quickly just get started, I can click here and it'll take me straight to my task.